City of Highland Park seized their property without accusing them of a crime. And more than 500 days later, a local husband and wife say their building is still being held hostage. But did the city abuse its power and engage in policing for profit? Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones is revealing what the city wanted to make it all go away. It's Christmas Eve 2020. You're looking at surveillance video outside of a building on Hamilton Avenue in Highland Park. We got a call from someone. There's a police knocking to the door. Justina Kozbul and her husband Matt owned the building that was once a church. They bought it after it closed, fixed it up, and used it to grow medical marijuana. The couple says they secured these 13 caregiver licenses, giving them permission to grow in excess of 150 plants. But on this day, the day before Christmas, Highland Park's mayor was making an unannounced visit. They were doing the fire inspection. They said they were doing a fire inspection yes. on Christmas Eve. Yes. Who entered the building first? Uh, that was the mayor and the uh, chief police. Did you see a fire inspector there? Oh, no. Mm -mm. He came later. That's Hubert Yap in the hat, and to his right is then police chief Kevin Coney. The city would use that fire inspection to gain a search warrant for the building, later finding the marijuana. They said the former church was being used as an illegal narcotics operation and using the state's forfeiture laws, seized the entire 13,000 square foot building. 16 months later, they've been holding it ever since. What were your clients charged with? Nothing. Mark Delden is the Cosbull's attorney who filed this lawsuit against the city trying to get the building returned. I think uh, the city of Highland Park doesn't want that building there, and so they just took it. There's no other logical explanation. In the course of this lawsuit, we asked, identify the crimes that were committed at this property to justify your seizure. The answer was none. So with the Cosbill's building now seized by the city of Highland Park, their attorney tried to find a way to get it back. And that's when they say the city made an unusual request. They offer to give us building back for two police cars. But I told him, I don't need police cars. And he said, no, it's not, it's not for you guys. It's for the city of Highland Park. The offer is spelled out in court records. Stop growing marijuana and buy the city two new cars and we'll give you your building back. In fact, the city had two in mind from a particular Ford dealer totaling nearly $70,000. It was a shakedown with a badge and a lawyer. Forfeiture attorneys we talked to say they've never heard of a request like Highland Parks. We tried to talk to Mayor Yap about it, calling and texting him repeatedly to schedule an interview. But he never got back to us. Mr. Mayor, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? So as he was leaving a store across from City Hall, we caught up with him. Or at least tried to. Ready. Why are you taking my time? I didn't authorize my time. Why was it appropriate for the City of Highland Park to seize a building and then say you can have it back if you just buy us two police cars? What do you mean, why was it appropriate? I'm not the city attorney. You're the mayor, sir. You're the, you're right. you're the boss of the city attorney. And that's what I do. That's what I do. I hire people that are specialists in their field. This man's a legal mind. The legal mind is city attorney Terry Ford, who says he did everything by the book. Seizures like these are supposed to be promptly reported to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, the only authority who can forfeit a property. And in court filings, the city claims it kept prosecutors in the loop, updating them about negotiations as they happened. Problem is, that's not true, according to prosecutors. We were not made aware that the city was negotiating on its own, said Kimworthy's spokeswoman, and they never knew the settlement involved buying the city to police cars. In fact, the prosecutor's office says Highland Park didn't even tell them they seized the building until more than eight months after they did. By then, their authority to start forfeiture proceedings had long expired. Why did you keep the prosecutor's office in the dark about this? You didn't tell the prosecutor's office you seized this. My city attorney handled this. Did he handle it right? City attorney Terry Ford did not agree to an interview, citing the pending litigation, but insists the city was justified to seize the building and maintains the Cosbulls were running a large-scale illegal drug operation, even though 510 days later, They've not been charged with anything. And adding insult to injury, since the city took possession of the building, the Cosballs say vandals have broken in, stealing everything from AC condensers to electrical wiring and flooding the basement too. They estimate the damage done is well into the six figures. They call this a shakedown, sir. What do you call it? A shakedown? What are you talking about a shakedown? This 
just doesn't happen where police see something and then say, buy a squad cars, we'll give it back. It's policing for profit. And even the city's own police chief had concerns about how this seizure went down. Kevin Coney, who retired as Highland Park's top cop last year and was with the mayor when the building was seized, told me he doesn't understand why it was taken in the first place. Still, the city's attorney claims the Coase Bulls were operating an illegal drug operation, even though they have not been charged with anything. Carolyn? Wow. I mean, all of that, I mean... You got to see what happens next. I know you're going to stay on top of that, Ross. My goodness.